Hey guys, today I'm going to work on another canvas. I did a video with a canvas uh, one or two videos back and I used up more of the leftovers I had from my 100 day project box here and I still didn't get to use it all. This is what I have left. So I'm going to try to use as much of this as I can today on another canvas. And along the way in creating, I've used these as my drop paper to throw extra paint on if it, you know, was um, building up on my brush or something. So I'm kind of including this in there also. I wrote a note to you guys a couple times on here. It says Oscar did it on the bottom underneath the paint. Like that, Oscar did that, and Oscar did that. So he's just very playful, what can I say? So, um, and I have this here that I stenciled out and I'm kind of tempted to use this little flower here and make this a flower canvas. You know how I am with flowers, so we'll see. But right now what I'm gonna do is just uh, take some, I'll probably use matte medium and I'll probably use Liquitex, which is this one right here. And I will just spread it over my canvas and start putting down papers and bits to use up as much as I can just to get my background. And when we get through, we may or may not see, as I always say, what I'm putting down, but it does serve a purpose. It helps me get started. It gives it gets me motivated and inspired. It uses up scraps that would normally go in the trash, and it might show through in the very end of the painting. You might get this little cool little, um, let me get you something to focus on here. A uh, cool little, like, um, intriguing section where there's some writing or something showing through that you didn't expect, you know, that pops through. Or it might give me inspiration to do my next step. So that's what I'm going to do. And then when I get to the point where I'm going to stop putting my background down, I will come back and tell you guys what I'm going to do next, okay? So thanks for being here with me today. I appreciate it. All right, so I'm gonna get started and I'll see you back here in a second. Sometimes papers are a little thick and I don't have the ability to tear them apart the way I'd like to. So I'm just wetting the paper a little bit to break it down and make it a little more pliable. Thought I'd stop real quick and tell you all that. Okay, this is fairly dry, but not real dry. You know how I am. And I've got my brayer out, and I'm just gonna spread a little bit of, uh, well, doesn't really matter the colors. I tell you all the time, it doesn't matter the colors, but this is antique white and light ivory. They're older paints that I've had for a while, and so I'm gonna try to just use a little bit. It, I'm not gonna use much, because it's just too, too small a canvas to use too much. And so I'm just gonna <laughs> cover it up. I'm gonna cover up what I put down, at least some of the area. This may be too much, it may not be enough. We'll know once we brayer. And let's see what we get. Just a mixture of color. One's a lighter color, one's a darker color. This is a harder canvas to brayer on because it doesn't have a flat surface on the back. It's got the the opening here so I'd have to put something hard here like a book if I wanted to really get it brayered I'll just put my hand back here and try to help it a little bit but it's not a big deal to me it's not a big concern but if it is to you you'll want to 
put something hard back there so you have a harder surface to brayer on. This does a lot of color covering, changes it a little bit, but you can still see what I put down, a lot of what I put down in the back, and I can rub it back with my finger if I want to and get rid of some of the color of the paint so you can see the piece of scrap sticking through even more as it dries. But, you know, I just don't think I care too much if it shows or doesn't show at this point because what I'm going to put on is probably going to cover it anyway. So, anyway, that's what I did here. And I'll just do a little bit on the edges here just to use up the excess paint on my brayer. Okay, so let's dry this for a second. Okay, this is tacky. It's not completely dry and it may affect what I do next, but it's okay. <laughs> I say that all the time. Uh, what I have here is some Marabou paint, uh, spray paints, and I've got a couple of colors of blue and I have cocoa. And I'm just going to, I've got a spray bottle here with some water in it. I'm thinking of tearing out this flower here and using it on the canvas somehow. Um, maybe. Anyway, so I was thinking of taking these blues and kind of putting a mixture of color on one side to make a lighter, darker type side. I don't know how it'll look. I've got the cocoa to tone it down if it's too bright for my taste. I've got the water to uh, make it more liquidy and spread it out a little bit if I want to. So I'm, one's a brighter color. I think I'm gonna like the darker color better. Uh, let's just try, who knows? It's the worst thing that could happen is you hate it and you just start all over again, right? So I'm just gonna spray some up here in the corner. And then I'm going to spray a little bit of this darker color around it too. And this one, yeah, I like that color. And then I'm going to spray some water, just a little bit. Well, it's more than a little bit actually. And I'm going to let it move around on the canvas however it wants to, just for a little bit. I think it's too bright for me, so I'm going to put a little brown in there. And then I'm going to spray. And I've got it all over here where I don't want it. That's okay. I'll just clean it up later. I'm gonna mix that around a little bit. Let it just go over which away. And then I want it to come down some. And I don't have my towel handy because I took all my towels outside to work in the driveway on that 36 by 36 canvas the other day. So they're all in a uh, tote bag behind me and I should have got it out before I did this. I'll just use a paper towel and I'll dab some up here and there and spread it out a little bit on the canvas in other areas just to bring a little bit over here but I don't want this whole side covered. I just kind of want to little bit and I think I want some more blue believe it or not the lighter blue I'm just gonna play with this for a little while until I till I'm happy it's going off the edge and that's okay I'm just letting it do its thing. Okay, I'm gonna dry it for a second and see how I like it. So I'll be right back. Okay, it's still drying, but I don't like the way this looks on the side, so I'm just taking my paper towel, and while it's still a little damp, I'm just kind of blending it out a little bit to look less spray just on the sides over here but I'm, I'm liking that it looks very pretty okay while that's drying a little longer 
let's see about the flower I don't think it's gonna look right oh yeah maybe it will I'm just gonna tear this out away from the paper a little bit close to the flower as much as I can and see if I like it because I don't want to cut it out so let me do that off camera since you know I'm just tearing this out I'm just gonna go around the edges okay I'll be right back all right I've got my flower torn out and I was looking at it on the canvas which is still damp in different areas I kind of like it up here I like the white stark against all the other stuff going on and I tried it around this way over on this side and that's okay I like it okay mmm I still may go that way I tried it over here don't like that if I do it over here my stem is probably gonna come down here in the white so if I do it over here I would make my stem come down this way I don't know I kinda think I still like it this way Okay, so I'm just going to go with it. We can cover it up if we don't like it. What I want to do now is I've got this drop paper here, and I'm going to cut out my stem and leaves from this paper. And I think what I want to do is just trace out. I kind of want a big leaf over here, so that means it's going to be over here. So if I make my leaf over here like this, and then my stem can come down... Another stem down, up, another leaf. Okay, let's just cut this out. And we can always tweak it. Make it smaller, make it bigger. I just want to see what it looks like on the other side. Here's my leftover papers to use for something else. And let's see. I like that side. <laughs> and that's the side I was planning on using, but I might change my mind. There, like that. But if I turn it over, I kind of like that side better. Isn't that funny? I like that side better. All right. This is not the pretty side that I was working on. I wanted that green. Let's try again and see if we like this side. Well, I like this side too. Okay, we're in a situation now where I can't decide, so this is when I will take a picture. Like I've showed you guys in previous videos where and I'll repeat myself because some people may be new and you just never know what somebody's seen and not seen. But if I can't decide something, I'll get out my camera and I will take a photo of one side that I like and then I'll turn it over and take the picture of the other thing that I'm thinking of or the different position I'm thinking of. And I can tell you just by looking at my camera what I think I'm gonna do. And then I will go back and I'll take the pictures that I just took and I will review them back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until I decide. And what I'm seeing here, I like the contrast, which of this side here, better. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I think I like that one. That's what I want. And when you see it in this perspective, it's different than right here in front of you. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take some matte medium and I'm gonna put this down and it's possible although I don't know for sure it's possible that this is not dry enough to sit this is permanent but if you mess with it while it's still wet you can move it around if it's dry it'll stay if it's not dry it'll move so I'm okay with that so as long as I'm okay with that the only thing is it could get on my flower as I as I paint and it might change this, so I'm gonna be very careful with that. I'm gonna put my stem down first. Got 
some bubbles. Try to get those out with my card. I use my card to spread over what I'm gluing down to try to get any bubbles that are in the piece I just put down out. And any excess matte medium will squeeze out if there's anything in there. Okay. Now what I'm seeing, now that it's glued down, I don't love this very much, so I think I'm going to lighten that up again. I think I'm going to leave this side the way it is because I really like that. And I have to decide how I'm going to do that, so I'll be right back. What I'm going to do is the two colors that I brayered on, I'm just going to take those out and I'm going to use my finger and see if I like kind of blending those in to make the background a little lighter. I may not like it. I don't, I don't know yet. We'll start with a little bit darker and then lighter, mix it together. I may bring in a brush. Just depends on how I feel after I get going and see what I like and don't like. And it's still allowing some of the background to show through, which I kind of wanted, so I was a little leery about putting this on. But it's still allowing some of it to show through, which I like. And I think I will bring in a brush. So I'm liking that a lot. And I'm thinking about changing and going straight straight into the lighter color and just blending it in, fading it up here so that I don't go all the way to the top with that light color. I just want to fade it in a little bit and that way it's not so stark. And wet my brush just a little bit. Okay. All right, I'm gonna dry this. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm kind of playing around with the leftover papers that I had here from tearing out my flower and I really like this section right here and I don't know if I'm going to use it or not but I'm just going to follow the shape of it around and finish cutting it out. The other side is smooth so that's why I'm doing it this way. I may come back and roughen up the edges but I'm kind of looking at this as potential use. Pretty. I like it, but I don't know if I'll put it on here. Maybe too big. I don't know. We'll see. And I really like these little black circles here. There's some in this leaf, and that's probably, that's probably what drew me to this in the first place. So I may cut these out and use those. And I'm going to leave a little bit of the pink around the edges for contrast. And I don't know where I'll put them or if I'll use them, but I'm going to test them out and see where they're going to get an audition. Everybody gets their day and this is their day. So that's what I'm doing now.
So I've been playing with this a little bit, as you saw, and I've decided to go ahead and put down these little dots. I decided to take this off because I just didn't I just didn't want it there. But I do like the pencil sketching in there, so I'm thinking of putting some pencil sketching in there and then just painting them with gesso, just a white paint or gesso. And but right now, first thing I want to do is get my little my little what you call it? Circles. Little circles on there. And that way they'll be down and secure. And I like the positioning of them down here, so just go ahead and put those down. Okay, so I didn't need as much of that as I thought. I'll put it back in the bottle for those of you who don't like the idea of doing this. Close your eyes. Don't look. It never happened. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to go back to my pencil work, and I'm going to get my little... Um, hmm, something small, maybe this round brush there, and I'm going to paint in with a little bit of white gesso into the pencil sketches that I'm making. And this is just a uh, jumbo, it's called Jumbo Jet Black Jerry's Artorama, and it's just a pencil. It's just a different kind of lead. It's not anything special like, um... A charcoal or anything like that and I'm just gonna make some double lines because I don't like straight lines I like them doubled and tripled and overlapping do that and then make our stem a little bit more pronounced and I've got a leaf up here it's kind of roundish kind of like it Maybe you should point it right there. Okay, and let's just start with that one. Let's see if we like it. We might add some more. Put a little gesso out. And, and I'm gonna paint it in. Take my pencil again and just go over everywhere that I had pencil lines before just to reinforce them. I do think I like this and I think I like it enough that I will continue and do it maybe two more times. Maybe a tall one up here and then a smaller one down here um, maybe maybe just one more maybe a smaller one down here that'll leave us three flowers and I'll see if I like it and want a bigger one I don't know I kind of like odd numbers I don't want two of anything like right now this is one two three four five six of these circles but I'm appeasing myself by the fact that there's more over here seven eight nine so odd <laughs> you know okay so um let's do one over here
I don't think I want to bring in a yellow in, but I think what I am going to do is put some more tiny, tiny little yellow flowers in here somewhere. I don't know if I'm going to do it at the top here or if I'm going to do it on the side and make them go a different direction. Right now I'm just thinking and I'm outlining my shape with my pencil here just for fun. I can always erase it. And go around my flower. I don't know if I'm in frame or not. Yeah, now I am. So I kind of want some more little white things on here. What I might do, what I might do, what I might do is I might put a few little flowers down here, maybe three, little cluster, with some color that's resembling these colors here to bring this color down over here. And then I might, might, if I want more, I might come in and add a few little clusters of white up here. Kind of cute just left in pencil that's tempting too but I pulled out these three colors and I'm going to see if I can make it look sort of like I'm not going for the exact color let's just make that clear I'm just going for something similar so that your eye says oh travel here I maybe I don't need my eye to travel there I don't know <laughs> I'm just going to try it anyway, just because I want to. Okay, I think maybe I will do a few little white dots over here in this dark area. Maybe we could pretend that it's like the sun's coming from this side and here's all your light and yet you've got a thunderstorm back here that's on its way and it's going to rain on our flowers. I don't know. You could say that if you wanted to. And I'm going to put a little writing over here. I'll try to do it loosely so it doesn't look very neat and tidy, but it's very faint. And I'm just going to write, it's a rainy day outside. Day and it's cloudy. <laughs> it's not that I really want to write that so much. It's just that I wanted the writing on there, and I'm just thinking of something to write because it's a little cloudy today, and it was a little rainy this morning. So that's why I wrote that. You can't read it. Nobody knows what that says except us, and. We'll forget it once you see it. You won't know. This video will be long forgotten after a while. Okay. I think I'm done except for the sides. 
I think I'm just going to use this light ivory that I've been using on the background. I would normally make my my sides black or brown or a color, but I think I just kind of want to leave it plain. And I can come back and fix this and change it if I change my mind. So we'll start with the light color first and see if we like it. Okay, it's still not ready yet, but I think what I want to do is I'm going to take some of this paint and like you do white and black splatters, I'm going to do a little bit of a splatter with this. Let's see if I like it. Hopefully I can get it off if I don't like it. <laughs> okay, one more thing that I'm going to do is I do like the outside edges painted that color and so I'm just going to leave it and I am going to seal this with matte medium all over the canvas so what I'm going to do is take my pencil I'm just going to write it's a rainy day all the way around the canvas just like I did here and it's going to be where well, you can't read it you know it's going to be that messy writing so I'll try to show you the best I can here just a little bit before I do it it's going to write it's a rainy day today okay and that's what it looks like if you can see it I don't know if you can see it in the monitor I can't see it so um, <clears throat> it's gonna go around the whole way okay I'm gonna take my matte medium now and I'm gonna seal the whole canvas I've already signed it I signed it in the stem down here I'm gonna let this dry naturally after I Get it sealed. Okay, so I will give you a close-up real quick before I start letting this dry. It's it's kind of um, shiny, you know, muted a little bit because I've got my my sealer on it, but I'll give you a close-up. chair to squeak 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 I really like how this turned out and there's the edge if you can see the writing I don't know if you can it's very faint all right so thanks for being here I'm gonna clean up and I'm gonna go out and take a long walk with Oscar and I will see you again soon and I've finished with the scraps except for these papers which you'll see in another um, canvas or maybe you won't I don't know if I'll I'll do this on film or not I never know and these I'm gonna keep these and I've got these little pieces here I didn't use and then there's a few of these left that I didn't use but I'll use this in other projects so that's pretty much all I have left all right thanks guys I'll see you later you have a great whatever it is bye bye <laughs>